I'm very excited. I got a final version of the Mantis version 3. I haven't actually, I wrote it for 10 seconds before we, Gwen and Damien strapped the camera on, but um, that was my first time riding the final version of it. I ridden some prototypes and I, I yeah, really happy. Some pretty big upgrades. Um, the biggest one being the handles by far. The biggest great upgrade for sure being the handles. Um, there's a lot of rigid handles on the market and they're really nice but this is ours are unique in that they are over molded with eva and uh and they're a lot thinner in diameter so they're a lot more comfortable hold and you get the benefit of a rigid handle without worrying about dinging your board or hitting yourself in the head because it's as soft as a uh you know like a kite bar end it's a it's a soft eva foam feels really comfy on your fingers you don't have to worry about hurting yourself or your equipment with it it's great i'm gonna see if i can get going now So this is a five meter. I'm on a little sinker board, 40 liter link. And it's about 16 to 18. So I have just enough to get going really. Maybe it's windier on the outside. We're gonna find out. All right, that was easy. I got some pale legs. Oh, I gotta get out in the sun more. Oh boy. Notice I've decided to wear a hat so nobody knows I have a bald spot. Except for everybody who watched the video from last year. Okay, ooh, it's really, oh no, it's, it's windy, shit. I mean, beep, it's windy. It's really windy. Probably a good 20 out here actually, so I could easily be on a half a size, maybe even a full size down, but wing feels good. It's got a little more dihedral than version one and version two, um, which is nice when you load it, you can feel, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can see the twips, uh, tips twisting open. It's just a nicer transition of power, go a little faster, handles the puffs better. So that's a big improvement. Going back to the handles, one of the things you'll notice is how close my hands are to the strut, which is really great for, you know, the closer you get, the better control you're gonna have. Um, we can also get it close because of the shape and the structure of the handle. But one of the things I really like that we did, we included a spacer. So if you want a little bit easier access to the handle, um, you just do that. You put the one inch spacer in. You don't have to put all of them in. You can just put them in strategic positions. I really like to ride one in the very front. It angles the front hand back a little bit, uh, which is a little bit more comfortable for the overhand grip rather than the underhand grip. But uh, that's it's great. I like having people have those decisions because uh, everyone's got a little bit of a different preference. Let's try a little, little back wind here. I don't know what that's gonna look like on the camera, but it feels good. It makes me feel like I'm better than I am. I'm rusty and it is windy. All right, here's a nice little wave. Let's see how this wing handles behind you. One of the things about the Mantis that's always been good is how well it sits behind you. And so far, this one is no exception to that rule. It, it sat behind me really nice and I didn't even have to think about it. good in the tacks still has plenty of power even in the inside here where the winds a little lighter I'm on the new 850 foil the high aspect and it is awesome I am really really it didn't look any different <laughs> if you put them side by side you can barely tell a difference but it's a little thinner in the tips and it goes quite a bit quicker because of that so it is really nice I'm really happy with this I feel good All right, let's find a big wave, do a turn, pretend like we're Kiahi. Oh, there's a nice little one. Okay, jibe, and woo, that felt good. I like that too. Happy day, happy day. Where's the camera? Oh, you're up there. Oh, that's weird. I'm really glad we're at, otherwise you'd really see my bald spot in HD. 4K bald spot with John. This commercial brought to you by Rogaine that I don't use and probably should. All right, we thought we turned on a big wave. We did not. Good opportunity to try a little wing behind the back transition. And three, two, one, go. Oh, that was bad. I didn't do it. All right, good effort. Good effort. Let's try that one again. 
maybe another time when the wingtip isn't weighed down by a camera. It's a little light right here. I'm getting a little too big for this little board. I need a before holiday board and after holiday board because after Thanksgiving, everybody puts on a few LBs. Okay, we're up and going again. Oh, I'm breathing hard. Okay, one of the other nice things about the added dihedral is you definitely get a little bit easier maneuverability of the wing manipulate it a little bit easier. If it's sounding like I'm panting, it's because I'm panting. There's another wing. It's weird, why is that wing going so slow? Can't figure out why. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Let's see how long we can stay on a little ankle high wave for. Nice thing of these high aspect wings is even when they're small, they have great lift. Like a, this 800 is probably equivalent to like a 12 or 1300 of the old mid aspect to low aspect wings. I mean, there's really not much wave here. And except for that little pump there, I don't have much of a hard time staying on it. Attacking is good. Like I men mentioned before, that little extra dihedral makes the maneuverability a little bit better, which I feel like when you go into attack, you just don't have to push as hard to make the wing want to transition over, which is great because when you push hard against the foil, sometimes it gets a little wobbly. So it's nice to not have to try too hard. It's supposed to be fun, doesn't need to be a lot of effort. All right, one more attack, then we're going home. Let's try another behind the back transition here. See how we go. Can we carry enough speed to do it? We can, except now my leash is all wrapped around my waist. Quick fix and we're good. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Ah, uh, nice being out with friends. Yeah. Woo. And time to go in. Where's Gwen? Big 360 to finish off a really nice little session. Love it.